Okay, and here in this example problem, we are uh, doing the same thing, except we have a different molecule, and the highlighted atom is oxygen here. How many sigma bonds does a highlighted atom participate? Well, this highlighted atom, oxygen, only participates in two bonds, and they are both single bonds. So, in a single bond, that one bond of that single bond is considered a sigma bond. So, here's a single bond, here's a single bond, must be two sigma bonds. How many pi bonds does a highlighted atom participate? There are no double or triple bonds here that this, this oxygen atom participates in. And the only place that you have pi bonds is either one pi bond in a double bond or two pi bonds in a triple bond. So this would be zero. And they ask, what is the orbital hybridization of the highlighted atom? So if I look at this atom and imagine it as my central atom, I just look at the atoms bonded directly to that oxygen atom. Well, uh, write its X notation. It would be A X two E two. Why? Because there are two atoms bonded to it and two lone pairs of electrons. So I have one, two, three, four electron domains. So let me go to my list, AX2E2. Let's go down. AX2E2, come across. It must be SP3 hybridized. So the hybridization of this oxygen atom is SP3 hybridized. And if I look here, I got one s orbital, three p orbitals hybridized together for a total of four orbitals, and I have four electron domains, so that makes sense. And again, this hybridization theory helps to explain the bond angles here of these electron domains. Okay, it only works uh, when we consider hybridization theory, so it, it helps to, to to help our model make a little bit more sense.